Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic is armature reaction. So name itself armature reaction. So armature reacted. Reacted means it works opposite. So first, what is the definition? Look at here. The effect of armature flux. The effect of armature flux on main field flux is called as armature reaction. So generally, you know that in DC generators, just observe here a small thing that is in DC generator. So for example, I will take the example of the DC shunt generator. So this is the DC shunt generator. So if the load is connected, so I'm considering the load also here. If the load is considered, so the main field will, F, main field will induces EMF in the armature then armature current will flow through the again the field and the load but we have very important thing that is in every generator action every generator action and so armature current is also produces the armature flux okay this armature flux sometimes addition with the main feed flux and this armature flux sometime so this armature flux sometimes differentiate with the main feed flux this armature flux sometime uh, cross magnetizing this will be cross magnetizing effect on the effect on the main field flux main feed flux so these are the things are happen these are the things are happen in the armature reaction so that's why we need to understand the armature re reaction how it happens so here what are the effects so here the armature reaction is there what are the effects first the cross magnetizing it is possible the cross magnetizing what is the meaning of the cross magnetizing distortion of the air gap flux and you do that we will get the sparking at the brushes okay so we will have one thing that is the distortion means for example we have the air gap fluxes in this direction so what effect the cross magnetizing means so due to the cross magnetizing air gap fluxes become like this so we have the air gap flux it, it gets some distortion that means it will change its shape just observe here this shape and this shape completely different so due to this shape we will get the sparking at the brushes brushes are collecting the power collecting the current and we will get the sparking this is the first thing what is the second thing the second thing is demagnetization due to this we will get the demagnetization what is the meaning of demagnetization demagnetization means reduction in flux flux will be reduces that is also important thing flux will be reduces so these are the things will happen due to the armature reaction so so we will have some understanding about this armature reaction so just i am considering the two pole dc machine this is the field this field this field uh, north pole to south pole two poles and this is the armature armature consisting of the slots here so you know that you know armature always north north pole we have only cross 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 like this and that means currents will be the meaning of cross cross means current will be going downwards we are looking the top view what about south the south we have the dots dots means the current will be upward what is the meaning of this dot the current will be coming upward like this okay so what happened here we look at here so cross means in the cross means the main winding whenever the cross means how the flux will be going the flux will be so i will change the color then you will understand very easily so i will take this color yeah so whenever if you are taking this 
current will be in this direction and flux will be in this direction so I am taking the flux path is like this this is the first path and this is the first plug and the second path is like this and what about third path third path is so by combining all these things the third path is like this this is the another flux path so this is a reverse and this is also a reverse this is also reverse that means what is the important of graph cross means the flux direction is like this flux direction is like this what about dot look at the dot dot is flux direction in, in this direction flux will be moves like this so that's why I will make the notice like this so flux direction is like this so and second flux direction is this is also like this and last flux direction is last flux direction is like this so this flux will be moves yeah these are the flux directions so if you observe here generally what happened with the north pole just again i will change the color uh, to this something so generally north pole how north pole will act just look at here north pole means always flux is flows like this flux will be flows like this okay yeah and then what about south pole south pole means always flux will be taken you should take some flux like this okay yeah so now we will look at where the flux will be added and the where the flux will be removed we should look at here so just observe here this flux is reverse direction this flux is reverse direction this flux is reverse direction what about here this flux is positive same direction what about here this flux is reverse direction this flux is reverse direction and here also this flux is uh, same direction same direction so just observe here where the flux is same direction this flux both the flux will be same direction that will be called as trailing pole trip we can name it as trailing pole trip and if you observe here if you observe here if you observe here this is in this direction and this is reverse direction here the reverse this is called as leading pole trip we can name it as the leading pole trip same thing will be happen here and and here this flux both are opposite direction this is also called as the leading pole trip we can name it as the leading pole trip and here both are added this flux this flux this flux this flux will be added this will be called as the trailing pole trip trailing pole trip so it has this type of construction this type of construction so what happened for this leading pole trip and trailing pole trip just look at here here the leading pole trip means leading pole trip what happened magnetization let the leading pole trip the flux will be decreases main flux main flux will be decreases because both are opposite to each other opposite to each other so whenever flux is decreases this process is called as demagnetization demagnetization we can name it as the demagnetization and what about trailing pole trip so we have another pole is there that is the trailing pole trip a trailing pole trip what happened flux will be increases 
flexibility increases means when we can name it as the magnetization we can call it as the magnetization yeah so at leading pole trip flux will be decreases wherever the flux decreases this process is called as the demagnetization a trailing pole trip the flux will be increases that process is called as the magnetization so due to the armature reaction somewhere mag demagnetization and somewhere demagnetization is possible demagnetization is possible here if you observe at the north pole what happen at leading two things will happen one is leading and other one is trailing at leading pole trip generally flux will be decreases means here the flux will be decreases and the trailing pole trip flux will be increases this will be the flux and flux density and the emf and the current okay so so that's why the wave form wave shape is must and should be like this the wave wave shape this is the normal wave shape normal wave shape what about this armature reaction wave shape we can name it as the armature reaction wave shape okay yeah so we can finally we can give some conclusion that is we can give some conclusion that is a simple thing so whenever whenever armature reaction is discussed means the demagnetization and magnetization is possible that means armature reaction sometimes added flux and sometimes armature reaction will decrease the flux okay this is about the armature reaction introduction and some class some analysis of the armature reaction okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you